vantage point, what did you think was the biggest reason why the Rams were able to score on that final drive? Um, you know, we just didn't make the plays when we needed to. Um, when we, we we got some questionable calls, if you want to be honest, but you know that's the name of the game. But we shouldn't have been in that situation when we had opportunities to get off the field on third and fourth down. What's the biggest takeaway you have after this game? We're not done yet. We'll be back. Um, this is just a stepping stone for us. Uh, we honestly feel like we should have won it, but congrats to them. But we'll be back. Mike, a lot of flags going out in the last drive. What were you guys thinking on the defensive side on that? Just keep playing ball. Um, honestly, they've been, they was letting us play all three quarters, and when it got down to that fourth, they started, you know, being a little more flag happy. But it's just the name of the game, man. We just got to find ways to win. What was Zach Taylor's message to you after the game? Just, just keep going. Um, we know it's, it, it's a heartbreaker to make it this far and you know come up short. But like I said, we're young and we still got we still got time to grow. And this was definitely a, a big stepping stone. You guys have been so good on the final drive of games in the playoffs. Just what was the difference this last drive? Uh, we just couldn't make that play. Um, like I said, when they got inside our ten, you know we went three straight incompletions on that third down. And then they just happened to throw that flag, which kind of kind kind of killed our momentum, but. You know, we, we, we just got to find ways to uh, get off the field. Mike, earlier in the game, the Odell touchdown. What do you remember from that play? Uh, he was at three. Uh, he ran a, a wheel route. Um, two kind of just picked me enough to give him a, enough separation. Uh, I, I honestly feel like I was in, in good position. I got my hand in between his, but, you know, he just made a strong uh, contested catch. When he uh, came out of the game, how much did your coverage plan change? Oh, it changed big time. It, it changed for them offensively. Um, as you can see, Cup was a lot more outside than he was inside, and they were just finding ways to get him the ball on quick passes instead of downfield. But we knew once uh, Odell went down, all, all our folks would be on 10, and that's what we expected. How tough was it seeing Burrow on the other, you know, Eric just Will, the struggles Antonio that he was Hall. having, um, getting all that pressure, and then, you know, seeing him get injured, and then that last drive, just were you worried that he didn't have it in him? Uh, no, not at all. Um, I, I trust Joe to, to take that drive for us every every game of the year, and he'll be successful. But, you know, we came up short, and, you know, uh, it, it's definitely tough. But like I said, we'll be back. Did they give you an explanation on those calls? Did they give you an explanation on those calls? No, they didn't. Um, like I said, you know, uh, the first three quarters, they was pretty much letting us play. In that fourth quarter, they were just a little more flag heavy than usual. But we can't, we can't blame it on them. We got to get off the field when we're supposed to. What do you feel like you guys learned from this? Just taking into next season, what what do you build off of? Uh, this is just a stepping stone for us. Like I said, nobody expected us to be in this position, and we knew with the guys and the coaches we have in our locker room that we, we can we can compete for years to come. So we're, we're definitely going to take this one. Like I said, it hurts, but it's going to stick in our minds, and it's just going to bring us back stronger for next year. Cooper Cup didn't do that much after OBJ went out. What makes him so good, and why, why was it so hard to stop him on that final drive? I mean, you know, he, he's just a, a great receiver. You know, um, he just knows how to get open, and Stafford's going to trust him in um, crunch situations. And he went to him a couple times on third down, and he made some big time catches. What was the difference on that last drive, in the last two minutes? <laughs> Man, you know, we just we just couldn't get off the field. Um, like I said, they got a little a flag happy on that last drive compared to how they were in the first three quarters. But we we, we, we can't blame it on that. We just as a defense, we gotta find ways to get off the field. I obviously didn't play defensive back. Like, how what is that balance? Was there anything particular that maybe they were calling that they weren't calling earlier in the game? They, they didn't specifically say. Um, we both both DBs on both sides were grabbing and you know a little pull here and there, and they were like I said, we were fine with it throughout the first three quarters. But crunch time, you know they. Got flag happy and we just put us in a bad situation. Does anyone say anything to try to motivate the guys? Because the flag's tough in that situation. What do you guys say? You no, know, just part of the game. Uh, we can't really control whether they call it or not. We just know on the, those next set of downs, we got to do do our job and try to get off the field. <laughs> did the Rams make any changes on that last that last up tempo drive at the end? No, they they pretty much did everything um, they were doing in the first half. Uh, of course, like I said, of course it changed when uh, OBJ went down, but. 
they, they, they stuck to what works for them and it was successful. Did you see Logan's pass break up and just how impressive was that to you on the field? Oh no, I didn't see it. I, I, I saw the ending of it. I saw the flag come out, if you want to be honest. And, you know, that's just, that's just how, how it is. What was the coverage on Cup on that last touchdown? The last touchdown you know, was, uh, we were in the zero uh, zero coverage, and you know, he just he just made a great play. Uh, Eli was in great position, uh, Stafford threw him a back shoulder, you know, good play, good catch. What are you going to remember about today? That we'll be back. I mean, that, that's point blank period. We're young, we're, we're, we're growing confidence, and we're, we're only going to get better, so we, we expect to be back. How do you guys build on this? Just keep doing our job, keep taking it one step at a time. Um, Go through the process of the off season of trying to upgrade this team and bring in guys that can help us win games. And one last thing, did anyone say anything in the locker room? What was the message? No, it wasn't too much to be said. I mean, you know, it, it, it was a tough loss. Like I said, guys expect to be back here next year, so guys got that confidence in each other that you know we, we got the right guys to be here again.